awesome. All right. <laughs> Smoke stop. It, it is it's been a minute. Now. It's been a minute <laughs> since the last show. Let's start over. Um. Um. I missed you. You missed me, obviously. So I have events to talk about, and events that have passed and coming up, like Paco said. Um. Real quick, though, I do want to for. We, about a week ago, noticed that our Glimish events email has a glitching, and maybe your forms weren't making it to us. And this uh, problem has since been resolved, and we would be able to receive your emails and if event forms now. So in case anybody was planning anything, wink, wink, hint, hint. Um, the first uh, just, event to go, go just what? Just a note real quick, sorry. <laughs> the um, Anybody that put in an event when the email was not working, it was still saved. And I did try and contact anybody that tried to put in an event that we did not get the email for. So if you put in an event, didn't hear back from us, uh, check now. You might have something from uh, Glimish in your email, but otherwise you are good to go now. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're good. Thank you. I didn't know that. Good to know. The first event that I'm going to go over, it's been such a long time. <laughs> That um, I think we're starting all the way back in like November. November? Mm -hmm. So there was Mask Mare who hosted his second charity stream for his choice charity of To Write Love on Her Arms. And he went over his set goal and was able to provide, I believe, over 1000 to the charity. I don't remember. Um, those funds went towards helping those who struggle with mental health and self-harm. And I just want to say congratulations to you for reaching that goal. And you did fantastic work. And we wish you luck in all of your future events and streams. And the next event we had was the Community Stream Loots partner collab with the one and only Chaos Collective, which features Art of Cod, Blitzkrieg, Meth, and Ferret. They teamed up for a night of Back for Blood Stream Loots craziness, and it was hilarious and much fun was had. Many a card was played. Always keep an eye out for that Chaos Collective tag that they use, so you can easily find them when they're streaming again, and you can ask them if they have any more plans. You don't want to miss those. Always a good time. Nextly, we had the lovely Savage Life X host us a very fun charity stream with a wide variety of games played and even some fun community activities. All donations went towards her choice charity, Cash for Kids, and in turn, they were able to provide gifts for children across the UK and Scotland over the holidays, making them that much brighter. Um, hopefully this can become a yearly thing. Fingers crossed, more Animal Crossing fashion shows. Please. <laughs> Thank that was a you. a lot of fun. It was so cute. I had so much fun doing that. I was involved. It was fun. I loved it. Uh, always remember to check out our streamers' uh, options for support. And previously, another event that we had was a honkening awakened by none other than Banjax. He gathered the community once again to play that goose goose duck for another wild ride of finger pointing and suspicious, possibly drunken avian activity. And if you haven't participated yet in a Banjax GGG event, well, you might just have an opportunity to very, very soon. Stay tuned after this recap for learning more. And in the education streams page, we had Shin Zakura graciously hosting his book festa. This was a seminar for budding book writers to learn some tips of the trade and hear from actual authors about their experiences and methods. Live. <laughs> Give me one second. Yep, it was a lot of fun too. He had um people that he knew in the industry. He was giving out tips and advice. He was talking about his experiences and uh, getting good questions and feedback from people that were watching and everything. Yeah, it was a really, it was a very um educational day. I was coming into it. I was like, this this is gonna be cool. And then I've actually learned a lot more than I thought I was going into. It. it was really good, really well put together. Just like all the events that we've worked with, like everyone's just really awesome, and you all bring something different to the table. It's really fun. <laughs> I could tell that a lot of hard work went into the planning and timing and presentation of this event, and there were a lot of very funny moments in there as well. And we were honored to have you host your seminar here on Glimish. And remember, like I said, to always check out our streamer support options. And wrapping up with the past events, we are finishing up with the absolute banger that was Baghead Barry's birthday <laughs> gift bag. <laughs> she absolutely smashed her goals like three times. She was able to donate over 2,000 pounds to the neonatal unit that treated her older and younger brothers who were both born prematurely. 
They were also able to provide the unit with a yummy pizza dinner. So congratulations, Barry. The event was an overwhelming success, and we are just super, super proud of you. And make sure you keep your eyes peeled for any news about that Glimdrop Land D&D one-shot, which was one of those stretch goals. That and was also there. keep an eye out for the Paco Taco tattoo that Barry has to get now. Yep. True that. True that. <laughs> Coming <laughs> so soon. That's, that's it for previous events, and we're going to move on to the upcoming. And uh, here that is. It's Banjax. It's Banjax. It's Banjax tomorrow. Remember that goose? Oh, God, it's Banjax. Glimish. Hi, animal. How are you? Um, it was a Banjax event. He's doing another goose, goose, Glimish, and this time, let me see here. Um, it'll be at 3 p.m. as usual, which is 8 p.m. for those who share Banjax time. I'm glad you had fun with Phasmo. I had fun watching you guys. You were hilarious. Sorry for getting sidetracked. I'm just excited. I like Phasmo. <laughs> anyway, um, there's no drinky rules this time. There's only vengeance and honking. It has never not been a good time at Banjax's Goose Goose Glimish. Their game is still free to play on Steam, so do get the game downloaded and gather around at Bad and Jack's page for your chance to play. And that's tomorrow at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. for UTC time. There you go, Bad Jack's standard time. There he is. Hi, Bad Jacks. I was talking about you. Honks in the chat for Bad Jacks. Honk, 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 honk. Honk, honk. Honk. All right, and that concludes my events recap and announcements. And moving on, I'm going to segue it over to Chris, who is going to give us some news about the mobile app. Mobile app. Yay. So, hi, everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, with the mobile app, um, as you might have seen, we have uh, opened a public test phase for the mobile app. And there's a form you can basically fill out so you can join us and help find bugs and test everything. Um, in the form, you just have to put in which uh, OS you are using. It's either Android or iOS, uh, your Discord username, and then your Apple ID email or Google Play email. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, late in the last few weeks, we have basically um, updated it quite a bit. So if you find anything, um, we will try our best to fix everything you find. And yeah, damn, I'm <laughs> nervous. <laughs> You're um, fine. We're all really excited about the mobile app. Yeah. Um, so um, once you get accepted to it, um, when you put in your Discord um, username, um, you will be able to see a new uh, text channel, basically. Um, and there is everything you need to know. So if you are interested, just sign up. We are trying to break everything as much as possible so it's as stable as possible for the app launch and yeah hmm. oh and uh before, oh, go ahead yeah before i forget um a huge shout out to um punky364 for helping out quite a bit so yay so much progress because of him mm -hmm. and also thank you to everyone else who is already testing it um just join us if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Come break and things with us. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of uh, phones, Brits has something else to say. I got I got really excited about the mobile app and it going out for testing to the public and stuff. And um, it's getting closer and closer to completion. And I wanted to show Glimish off on my phone somehow, not just by having the app. So I made a handful of lock screens and phone backgrounds for funsies. And I've got a few glim drop backgrounds, a couple of glimish logo backgrounds, and a couple of slightly cursed backgrounds. The necessities. Did I say funsies? <laughs> I meant funsies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be posting those backgrounds in the building glimish form in the design section. So please help yourselves when I get that up there after the show. 
and I'm it, just it saying. It will be after the stream, though, just so everybody knows they are not there right now. Yes, they're not there right now, not yet. Um, I'm just saying I wouldn't mind seeing some screenshots, and if you have any art, like ideas for uh, <laughs> for uh, for I for more screen backgrounds, let me know. Let Chris know because we both like making them. Todd, did we have any uh, that you could pull up and show right now? Um, I didn't I give him any. any. <laughs> I could, I could wait there. Wait, wait there. I, I, I can. I, I've had an idea. Wait there, because I'm actually rocking one on my phone right now. So okay. <laughs> same. Same. So I mean, uh, I do too. Where's I'm, my I'm phone? Just... I don't even know where it is. Gone. Yeah, Mayan. Right. Once we put the uh, once we put them up, they'll be available to anybody and everybody. And we're gonna try and have a good selection for various sizes and all that. There you go. There's one. There's one. Nice there and go, clean. Con. Have you got yours up as well? Ooh. Oh, see if my phone's gonna or my oh, <laughs> mine's not gonna cooperate. <laughs> nope, it's no. gonna try and blank it out. Is my Ooh. phone around here, babe? Can you see my it's phone? It's nice <laughs> that it automatically blocks it out though. Hey, whatever. Yeah. I can never find my phone. <laughs> Same. Frick. I have to fix a uh, starfish run. But I don't think it's too cursed for everyone. <laughs> Show the yeah. curse. You keep the curses to yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one. I'm going to keep it to myself. <laughs> Let me see. Can yeah, you see I'm, mine? I'm Let's check Brits's. Oh, that's the same one I'm using. Frickity oh, went snacks. Away. My went away. Kind of see it. Yeah. Glim Spam. <laughs> that's the Glim Spam one. It's my favorite. I've had it for actually a long time. Ironically, there is no Glim Spam in that picture, though, which just yeah. delights me to no end. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a lot. Like, there's a really wide selection. Mm -hmm. Britt went absolutely nuts and made so many of them because she just couldn't stop making them. There's too many good options. The Glim Drops are cute. They're very <laughs> cute. I like the Logan ones, too. The Logan ones look really yeah. nice. I made that one with, like, business in mind. I was, like, business, business. one. Because the rest of them are very fun and, like, you know, glim droppy. But I was like, I want to make one that looks professional, like a boss would want on his phone. I don't know. Clone, would you, like, put, would you put that on your phone? Yeah, Gotta clone, would you? Exactly. See? <laughs> Just be yeah, like, you see that? Oh, yeah. That's my logo. <laughs> <laughs> I did this. <laughs> but, yeah, so looking forward to those. Nice, Mayan, welcome in. Uh, so we're looking forward to those. And like I said, they will be on the Building Glimish Forum after the show tonight in the design section. Um, and now we're going to hand it over to Art of Cod. And uh, he's going to talk about some of the recent features that we've been adding to the site and things like that. I'm here. Right. So uh, first feature I want to go over is uh, hosting. Uh, for those that haven't seen it yet, we do now have an auto host feature. It is a massive thanks to Memory Leak Death for developing it. Um, and some people that haven't seen it, um, I'm going to talk you through how to set it up. But for those that have seen it, you, you probably already love it as well. So uh, all you need to do, guys, to actually set this up is navigate up to your the top right corner, click on the drop down next to your avatar, click in settings, uh, yeah, click settings, once into settings, over on the left hand side uh, of the screen, just down at the bottom, is a little button that says hosting. Click on that, type in the streamer that you want to add to your auto host list and click add streamer. It is as simple as that and it works so well. And once it's actually uh, all set up, it appears like this. So when you're actually hosting someone just above your actual, your actual video, it tells you that your tells people that you're hosting someone, and to click the button to actually go there as well. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing, and uh, yeah, just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. The next thing I want to talk about as well is, it's literally a dark art. This thing, it, like, it's called NAX. Uh, it stands for ne Negative Acknowledgement. Uh, as far as the tech side of thing goes, like I'm completely in the dark. What I do know is it is super mystical and absolutely amazing. It was developed by Dan and it's already made my stream a billion times better. It smooths out all the little hiccups and stutters. Yeah, fixes the bad frames. Um, 
From what I can gather, it basically Glimesh and OBS just speak together a lot better, and it makes the streams run so much smoother. Okay. Like when I get um, some big spikes in my uh, my bandwidth and stuff, and my internet starts playing up, it just smooths it all out, and no one sees any issues. It is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And like I say, it's like a dark art. I I don't know. I've read up a massive, massive thing about it, and I still have no idea what what he was talking about. So, I, I tried to get into the tech side of it today, and I was just like, "Nah, I don't know. I have no idea." So yeah, it's a, uh, it is, it is a passive enhancement, but it does actually work, <laughs> and it is phenomenal. So uh, I am gonna now pass you over to Berry, because Berry is gonna talk about a couple of other bits. Yes, hello. So we've got a couple of um, other features. Um, the keen eyed amongst you may or may not have already noticed them. Um, the first one is that we have added more countries to our payouts list. Woohoo! More people can get their pay. Um, so if you are from Kenya, the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, or Turkey, you can now apply to get your sub, your lovely, lovely sub button um, and get your payments through there. So if you are from any of those places, do head over to the support model and uh, get your application in now. And the other feature, it's a small feature, um, but I think it's one that's going to have a big impact for a lot of people. Um, you can now preemptively ban people from ever entering your channel. So. Before we brought this in, um, the only way to ban someone was it was from them following or talking in your chat, whichever it was. Um, but now you can ban them before either of those happen. So if you head over to um, the link I'm about to put in chat, which is your moderation settings, you can you'll see in there there's a channel ban section. You can just type the username of the person in there and click ban user, and they will never be able to uh, come and chat in your channel anymore. Um, so, you know, from a safety perspective, I feel like that's going to make a big difference to a lot of people. Um, like I say, it's a small change, but a, an impactful change. And yeah, you can just go in and click uh, unban as well, just like you would uh, unban anybody else that's been banned directly from your channel. So, yeah, uh, so that's about that's about it I've got from features. But Paco's going to now take you through some features that have past and present. So over to Paco. Yep. That's not Come me. In. That's a baghead. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I am a chameleon. I blend in with everybody. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, guys, um, we kind of just wanted to do something uh, a little fun here. Uh, so we decided to put together a quick recap on how far we've come since we've started Glimish so long ago. Uh, we made a quick timeline, really, um, of some of the bigger moments in the history of Glimish so far. So uh, we're just going to go through over 10 decades. It all started back in 1743. No. <clears throat> so on June 22nd of 2020, Mixer announced that they were going to be shutting down in one month, out of the blue. Um, Clone had been considering the possibility of starting a streaming platform before that. It's something he had thought about. But the announcement of Mixer shutting down kind of helped spur his decision to become a reality. Um, he saw the void that it would leave specifically in a community oriented platform and decided to start working on the as yet unnamed platform that he was calling project recode. Uh, he gathered some thoughts, made some initial plans. And then on June 30th, this discord server that we all use was born. And the first message sent was from clone that said, hello world. Um, after about a month of hard work discussion, we wanted to show off what we had accomplished and prove that we were serious about creating a working product and not just talking about all the things that we thought would be cool. So we organized a charity stream benefiting the Trevor Project, and we held uh, the first live stream on the platform. It lasted for four hours. We had over 200 viewers. Um, we forgot to turn on half of the servers and broke everything momentarily. Um, <laughs> but we raised over $3,000 for charity and it also led to clone shaving his head live on stream and me having to get a glimish tattoo. 
So after that, on July 24th, uh, we had our first merged community pull request on GitHub and <laughs> learned about Colton's new favorite haircut, just like that. Um, the first community po merged community pull request on GitHub was really exciting because we are an open source platform and that's, you know, it's a big deal to us and we want anybody to be able to contribute. So having somebody come in that early and be able to contribute. So that was really, that was something that really, you know, like it, it, it felt really good for us to see that so early on and people embracing that. Then on July 27th, we had a huge step and we were incorporated. We became a legitimate company instead of just a group of people that were working on a project. It became an actual thing and not just something casual. Moving on to September 3rd, we had a very important member of the team join, and that's Glimdrop. He was born on September 3rd by a user named Carmi, who helped us uh, develop those and get going. They, excuse me, do not gender our Glimdrops. <laughs> they are both all genders and none. Uh, and then one day later, on September 4th, we launched Glim Movies. Uh, it was designed to help test the stability as well as showcase our new FTL tech that we were using. And it was a constant rotation of a small handful of copyright-free movies and animations. Um, everybody liked Big Buck Bunny. Clone really liked Cosmo's Laundromat. Uh, everybody had a favorite one. And then there were the really bad ones, too, which were great. <laughs> Then on September 16th, we saw the official formation of the Glimish community team. It started off uh, with just me uh, having built the idea up and brought it to clone. And we have now grown into a global team that works together, not only moderating, but supporting every member of this community. We're also responsible for creating the rules and punishments that we use on the platform, as well as enforcing all those. We offer tech support. We help you with your account. We write policies and just even more besides. Uh, the GCT does a lot of things to help keep stuff working and running smoothly as it can around here a lot of the time. And they deserve a big shout out for all the hard work they do because they really do a lot that you guys probably don't see. So shout out to them. And then from there, moving into 2021. Yeah, except MJ. He's just kind of like a mascot. He's like the pet. You know, that when a team has that... Uh, French bulldog that just lays around and farts and eats all the time. That's MJ. Except with coding and floppy asparagus. So in 2021, things rapidly began to pick up. <laughs> we knew what we wanted to do and we had to really focus down and make it happen. And so many just awesome, talented people really pulled together and we accomplished a lot of things last year. We, it is, it's almost impossible to understate how much we accomplished as a small platform run by volunteers that was fully bootstrapped. Like the things we managed to do last year together are absolutely amazing. On February 9th, we had the first stress test of Glimish TV. Um, the actual first live stress test to prepare because on February 12th, we announced, uh, or I'm sorry, on February 12th, we announced and we launched the first Glimish shirt. Um, I know a lot of you people still have yours. I've still got mine. Uh, and I distinctly remember being just floored at how many people wanted to get one of those shirts, that original Glimmish shirt. Um, it just, it blew my mind how excited everybody was just about that. Um, and then a few days after we launched the shirt, we made some noise by announcing that we were going to be launching into alpha in just two weeks. And anybody would be able to join. There were no lists, no lotteries, no payments needed, none of that. We were opening the platform to any and everybody that wanted to help us test things out and grow together. And then two weeks later, we launched. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. We had some problems. Things fell apart here and there, but we managed to get it on track and uh, smooth things out as much as we could at the moment. Get everybody access that wanted access that day. The Glimish channel hosted a launch event stream and it lasted for around 16 hours. Uh, we provided information, entertainment. We played some games. We did live support. We answered people's questions. We did a lot of stuff and it was amazing getting to meet so many people in the community. And then a mere eight days after launching, we had our first payout to creators. 
uh, and then with launch taken care of, uh, we took stock of the issues and the feedback that we were getting and decided it was time to move forward. So on April 20th, we transitioned into phase two with new priorities, kind of checking, see what's going on, seeing what the community is feeling. And then we transitioned over to phase two with those ideas in mind. <clears throat> and as part of that, uh, we began allowing a limited number and style of emotes for everybody to test on June 1st. On June 28th, we made a step towards expanding the business side of things when we partnered with Streamloots. With FTL, it's a perfect fit for the community members who enjoy a little bit of chaos in their community, as a lot of you are aware. Uh, bleh, aware? Cannot talk. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? June 28th. Oh, for the emotes, yeah. Thought you were talking about stream loots. Sorry. And then on July 30th, towards the end of summer, we launched a Building Glimish website, the forum for discussion and feedback to help the growth of the platform. <clears throat> Not much happened until November 10th then, where we made the decision to make a change from subscribe to support to show that we wanted to broaden the ways that a community could support a creator. Along with having the sub and stream loots options, we also added direct donations, and that allowed people to uh, donate a singular time in an amount of money that they felt was right without having to let somebody get their cut with the exception of, you know, uh, trans, like, what's the word? Transaction fees, that's the word. Glimish doesn't take a cut of that. And during that, we also changed our sub cut for creators from 50% to 60%. One week later, we had our first donation payout on November 17th. Now, 2022 is here. This is a year full of possibilities, guys. We have ideas, we have plans, and most importantly, we have an incredible community behind us. Uh, this year's achievements, uh, there's not a lot so far, but it's still early, and we're doing a lot of work. And that's not to say they're small, though. January 21st saw the addition of both hosting and Next that COD told you about earlier. And then on January 28th, we saw the wide release of the mobile app for testing purposes. And I'm really excited to see what things are going to be coming in the future, guys. I'm, I can't stress enough how good the future is going to look for us. So it's been an absolutely amazing journey so far, and we still have a long way to go. But it's important to look at what we've accomplished so far and what we've done with the help of all of you guys. So next week, Glimish is turning one year old from our launch date on March 2nd, first birthday. And as we look to what's next for all of us, we want to take some time and we want to celebrate with you guys because we wouldn't be here without you. You are what helped us get here. So starting on Saturday this week, we're going to be having four days of community events. Some members of the GCT are going to be hosting a variety of games. Hello, that's me. Some, we, okay. Some members of the GCT will be hosting a variety of games, and we encourage you guys to join in or even host your own games. If you'd like to host a community event for this birthday bash from Saturday through Tuesday, go to the events page at the navigation bar up top and fill out a form. There's going to be info there on the form, so look out for a section labeled Birthday Bash that will be updated after this stream. Uh, it's going to be first come, first served. Whoever's hosting an event will be streaming to this channel, the official Glimish channel. Um, we're going to have uh, GCT here supporting people that are going to be doing these things. And Banjax, if you want to do that, uh, I know you've already done some advertising, but we can talk to you about seeing what pushing we can do. Um, but one of the things that's going to be changing is we're not considering any other um, prior events that you have planned. So even though you're hosting one literally in two days, Banjax, or one day, today, tomorrow. Tomorrow, one day, yeah. Tomorrow, thank tomorrow. you. I saw you flailing over there. I was like, tomorrow! Uh, tomorrow! Yeah. <laughs> so even though you're hosting one tomorrow, you can still host a community slot. Man, I don't know what day it is. It's fine. <laughs> Um, you can still host one though. Um, we're not going to have any restrictions on time, things like that. You could even host multiple streams if there are time slots. So yeah, now it doesn't have the info on there, but 
Yeah, look for a section that says birthday bash on there. It's first come, first serve. Whoever is hosting the event will be streaming to the official Glimmish channel with support from the GCT. And we really hope to get as many people in there as we possibly can. So feel free to put in a form for any day or time slot that you want to try and go for in case one of them is already filled. Um, we're going to be going, like I said, from Saturday. Um, our plan now is to start around noon, but if there are community members who want to be on their Saturday morning doing something, let us know. We're going to be over the next uh, day or two adding things to the uh, events calendar so people can get a sense of who is going to be streaming what. And we're really with the GCT trying to focus on making sure we have those um, games that are easy to get a hold of for people, things that are on Game Pass or they are free games, things like that. So they do not, MJ. They're not trees. They're living, sentient beings. Um, <clears throat> but we're really, with the GCT, trying to focus on those games that we can reach a broad audience with. So feel free, like I said, to hop into those. We're going to be posting on the events calendar so you can see what's coming up and maybe you see something on Saturday you want to join in. You'll have time to download it beforehand. So that's that's it. That's the thing. Happy birthday, Glimash! Happy birthday! Hell yeah! Thank you again to everybody. Birthday party! Birthday party hype. hype! Hell yeah! Oh yes, it's gonna be so much fun. Mm-hmm. Much excited. Glimash is old. <laughs> <laughs> Put Glimprop in there quick. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I am super stoked. I'm super excited about it. Really mm -hmm. looking forward. Will the Golden Taco make it to the timeline? We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. Eat so much cake. Exactly. Cake will be provided in the lobby. The cake is not a lie. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that reminds me. We did bring cake. I'm sorry. We did, actually. Yeah. yeah. We did bring cake. Let me grab that real quick. Do 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 do. <laughs> there you go. I'm looking for it. I don't see it. So does anybody think they might want to do one of these? Do an event for it? Want to oh, yeah. take well, part in one of the this. birthday events? What are people thinking? Okay. I know Art of Cod has uh, said he's going to do some first person shooters. Yep. So your things like your Halo, your Fortnite, that kind of thing. <laughs> Apex. Banjo. Yay! Banjo actually raised oh, your hand. I sent you. Goddamn. I did. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Overwatch is a game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cod on the Sims. <laughs> Do you know what? I'd love the I love playing the Sims. Oh, I should have done right. Planet Coaster, but Planet Coaster it it's it's just yeah. It is just yeah. So much fun. I can do the Sims. I can it's make it. everybody I can all live. Oh, of Cod I'm talking about the other Sims. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb free ste game. Isn't that what Goose Goose Duck is? That's totally what Goose Goose Duck is. Oh, what's that god awful like squid game? Was it like crab game or something like that? Yeah, crab game. Minecraft crab game, build yeah. contest. That sounds fun. <laughs> Don't shit on it. I will shit all over it. MJ. I've just never heard of it. <laughs> um, imagine somebody that had never seen a computer before tried to make a 3D squid game contest game. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Build in Minecraft. <laughs> It'd look better. Return of the Glimmish Minecraft server? MJ? What do you say? Like The only thing I would cool. um, the only thing I would counsel is that we're going to need to make sure we have whatever good auto moderation is available because it's going to be very difficult to make sure that we have people there at all times to knock down all the giant wangs people are going to be building <laughs> because they're adults. Um, but also, 
we have the option of oh, fuck, I was gonna build those, right? <laughs> Who watches the watchmen? Um well, we we could also just do like time slots. Like we can have it open from this time to this time or whatever. We'll figure it out. Glemish Valheim or Satisfactory, both of those would be awesome. Yeah. Factorio can have a literally unlimited number of people. If it was free, it would be perfect. That would be cool. Actually, I think the creative one would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Just let people get in there and go nuts, man. I'm going to live in a glim drop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like a little glim drop house. You're not yeah, just wrong, take a giant Jacks. glim drop. Just the entire <laughs> map is just a giant glim drop, and everybody just has to worship it, and that's how it is. <laughs> All the villagers just bowed down around it. Yep. <laughs> worship. I don't think anything beats when Flying Pigs built that giant Minecraft pig <laughs> into a house. <laughs> Look how cute it is. <laughs> I love it. It is adorable. It is. It's very soft. It is. Max no, stole it from me for the first week that I had it. He was like, Connor this is still mine. Fine all the time. Touch grass. Called dot dot dot. 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 Yeah. I've got Russian fishing for. for. It's amazing. Cod man. actually, Cod has actually met the devs. They came yeah. in and helped him with some of it when he was first playing it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's like Counting. Tarkov fishing. You so have... excited! I turned it oh, into a seriously, pirate. Van Jax, Yeah. <laughs> you have to. Why do you game? think he's called Cod? <laughs> you keep telling you people it's the page. You have it, it. It is like Tarkov fishing. You have to eat and drink. It's a survival fishing game. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I angry? <laughs> Shinsukura, we're going to be doing birthday celebrations. I'll, I'll, pop the, I'll pop the thing back up again. No, nope, wrong one. Yeah, throw it up there. Oh, God. No, I'll throw it up. <laughs> Nobody needs that. <laughs> Stop it. Get out of here. There it is. Ta da. <laughs> Everybody gets that behind the scene look of me trying to find crap I have all over my monitors. <laughs> Where did I put it? I did see Big uh, Bigfoot had a lot of updates. That would be fun. Things like Bigfoot and Phasmo. Yeah. Ghost Chaser, whatever it's called. Haunt Chaser. Down for some Phasmo. Yeah. I thought you might be. <laughs> I, you I'm, don't say, Britt. I, I'm planning on... Uh, a scanimal. <laughs> Apex and uh, Fortnite. And, uh, yeah. Fortnite. And, fun. um, not... not not Warzone. You, sure you don't want to do Warzone after no. earlier? <laughs> no. Warzone is cursed. Robo Let's go. <laughs> I actually have zero idea what I'm going to do when I'm streaming, so. But we're going to have lots of fun community games right across yeah. Saturday, Saturday, running through mm -hmm. to the running through to Tuesday. So if you do want to get involved, please do head to that events tab and apply because it's even if the GCT have got blocks in we've got some blocks in but some some of the blocks can be moved to make space for more community yep. run events as well so please don't feel put off uh, about putting your event event through we'll look at all of them and we'll see yep. what we can do and fit you in where we can absolutely we're going to try and be as flexible as we can about mm -hmm. a lot of things going on here so just and even if you need to you can reach out to the events team which is a baghead brit or myself and uh talk to I'm one of us and we can turn. yeah we know who you are baghead <laughs> uh just reach out to one of us and we can uh talk to you and see what we can figure out if need be we found it but yeah as far as official stuff goes that's that's what yep. we've got guys one year of glimish one year i can't can believe, believe it's a that? year no I can't it's believe it's a year already. So fast. Yeah. Crazy. In two months, I'll have been full time for one year. Um. 
It's just crazy to think. <laughs> it, it really is. It, it both feels like it went by in the blink of an eye, and it has been here for all time. Yes. Do it, Banjax. Do it. Do it. Dude, I'm down for crab game. I've never played it, but I've watched people do it, and it just looks like the most ridiculous stuff. Same, MJ. Same. I've been crab here game is a crab game. Sorry, yeah, no. It was a year in December for me. I think it was January for me. In the Discord. It's been a while. Thank you, Sketchy. Glad you're here, man. I'm glad everybody's here. Like, I cannot, I cannot stress enough how important our community is to us, and how much further behind we would be where we are right now without the community. Whether it's people contributing to the GitHub or um, helping us test things or just giving us feedback, pointing things out to us, whatever it may be. Like you guys are the fuel that has kept us rolling the entire time. <laughs> hey, if that's what you want to stream, man, it's all you. Jossie, you are carrying the late night USA game streams. I see you all the time. All that star citizen. I love that crying emote. It's so terrifying. Like binding of Isaac. All right, Lee, thank you for coming by, man. See you later, See you later Lee. well um i think unless anybody has something that they want to ask or share or anything like that we're probably going to go ahead and call it here soon because i know it's late for chris especially mm -hmm. and uh, any of the other european people i know it can be tiresome but if you guys almost um grim. almost if if you guys need uh want any of the links recapping or anything, just uh hop in the Discord. Um we can get all the links shared for you. So if you need the link to the event form or to building Glimesh to download your mobile form backgrounds or whatever, just yep. hop in Discord and shout up and one of us will get you the links. So I'll put that link up as soon as we get it up too. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll put that, we'll put Trust that me, you're gonna want them. these uh these mobile form backgrounds. They are so amazing. Cute. Yeah, they are. Um We'll put that up in the Discord somewhere. The event form is found on the events tab. That is correct. It's the same events form as always. Yeah. Yep. And I have updated it. So it has the birthday bash info on there. And like I said, we will get um we will get started tomorrow looking through what we've already got and sorting everything. Um and start adding items to the yeah. event like, calendar as we go. Yep. And all of it's going to be subject to change at any time. So, you know, keep an eye on it. You may it may open up a slot that you're looking for, or something may change. So, and if you've got suggestions for what you want the GCT to play as well, like just because Cod's yeah. saying that he's going to do FPSs, there's nothing to say. Or Paco said he doesn't know what he wants to play yet. So if you guys have got suggestions for what you want to see being played, let yeah. us know. Definitely. Wow, somebody should get a tattoo of that. Mm, what? Don't we talk about? What? Mm, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Whatever people want to play, if they want to play and play with get together with people and do it, just like I said, just get an events farm and it's all good. Or even if you just want to, you know, even if you don't necessarily want to do it officially and you just want to have a have the stream it, you know, we'll have a little Glimash birthday tag. So uh, feel free to use that over the birthday week as well. Yep, and that's to be announced once yep. we figure it out. What's mm -hmm. up, man, Jax? <laughs> Question away, my dude.
we didn't show... really put them up. <laughs> yeah, I can no, show the one go I've ahead. got on. That, that's that's the invited I screen. I know, I know. And okay, that's also okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can possibly show Glimpse Bum if it'll allow me to. Because Brit's got a different one now. That is clean. I really like that one. You've got a Glimpse Bum. I've got a Glimpse Bum if it'll show it. <laughs> Which it oh. will not. There we go. Oh, kind of for a second there. Sort of. Sort of. God, all our cameras hit. <laughs> you can kind of see them. <laughs> <laughs> and then Brit has, is showing some off. Next like one. Got them all. one. So hard. Come on, buddy. That show... one's like the best one. It's just I like, yeah, look at it. I, I could hey. show that one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, I have the screenshots of them, don't I? Yeah, they're in the dis in our Discord. I actually put a bunch of them in our uh Oh you have the drama llama, yay. <laughs> no, but I actually have them on my phone, don't I? So See? Oh. Yeah. Oh, just be just bring them up one at a time. Yeah. There we go. So there's one there. <laughs> Look at it, it's so happy. There's a another variation on that one. There's a few. With the face at the top. Brit has worked hard on these. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Kicked from the team. <laughs> that's see, that's that's on the screenshots. If if I go back to my actual home screen, it's not there mm -hmm, anymore. Mm -hmm. Convenient excuse. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm, actually mm -hmm. been uninstalled from my phone. <laughs> No. Talk on his home screen. <laughs> oh, the cursed ones are still with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. The one I did. I have the curse. <laughs> we don't. The curse. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the cur the cursed one that was Brit's photograph. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the starfish. <laughs> <laughs> People might that like that one though. Something. <laughs> that starfish. It's. I'm, I'm gonna I get think the. We I'm now need a thick. Uh, we now need a thick starfish glimmer drop. No, you're confused about what the word need means. <laughs> Damn it, Cod. I'm gonna go to the solar. No, Cod. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Are you? No. No. <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> I didn't work. <laughs> it's like a really cursed starfish. <laughs> it's a thank starfish God, that I saw God at Google the zoo. The you yeah. can't see its butt cheeks. Yes, you can't. You can't see its butt. <laughs> it's got a butt. Look, yeah. let me that see if it'll had, come up. I think had some cake. <laughs> you see that starfish butt? It's blurry because it's not safe for work. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh God, you can see it on Chris's. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> All right, I think that's a perfect time to end this stream right now. <laughs> Once more, thank you everybody for coming out tonight and hanging out with us. Thank you for being here for the last year that we've been around. Thank you for hanging out with us and all the work you've done alongside of us and all the support you've given us and the love you've shown us. The end. Yep. <laughs> See y'all soon. I don't know what to do with my hands. We'll send bills. Excellent. <laughs> Something to clone.